Fred Miller, No Sweat Public Speaking. The premise of all these videos in my mantra is speaking opportunities are business, career, and leadership opportunities. People who take and make those opportunities grow their businesses, advance their careers, and increase their leadership roles. No one has ever challenged that. Why would they? This is the third in a series of videos about the fear of public speaking. The previous one delivered a number of answers to the question why people have a fear of public speaking. This video addresses the what ifs. What if the audience doesn't like me? What if the speaker they had last month was really, really good? And compared to them, I stink. What if I forget something? I've got to be perfect. Then there is perhaps the biggest what if. What if I've got nothing to talk about? What could I ever present to an audience that anyone would have an interest in hearing? I often hear that in the public speaking classes I teach. Here's my response. Everyone has experiences and the knowledge people would love to hear and could benefit from. Here's how I came to that realization. One day a good friend emailed me a question. I can't remember the question, but I knew the answer. So I typed it into the email and hit the reply button. Almost immediately, I got a one word response. Wow. I looked at that wow and thought, what's wow? I wrote that into an email, hit the send button, and went back to work. About 10 minutes later, I received his response, and it's relevant to this conversation. He said, sometimes you're so close to your own knowledge base that's so wide and so deep, you don't know what you know. Think about that statement. You don't know what you know. You see, your every day, that could be somebody's payday. Your every day could be someone's aha moment. Each and every one of you has experiences and knowledge people would love to hear and would benefit from. Let me tell you a story. I teach a class on public speaking. It's two nights, two hours per night. I speak the first night and students give many presentations the second night. Last year I had a class of inner city church ladies and it was their night to give their presentation. They were great. I was really impressed. One lady waited until everyone else had spoken. She stood up, started walking to the front of the room, then stopped and said, I, I, I've got nothing to talk about. She started to sit down. Wait a minute, I said. Before we started class, didn't I hear you telling some of your classmates you speak to your kids every day? I do that, she said. Well, what do you tell them, I? She replied, well, I, I tell them to keep away from gangs, don't do drugs, and work hard. That's good stuff, I said. How many children do you have? She said, I have six. Wow, big family. What are those kids doing now, I asked. She paused for a moment and said, well, four in college. Wait a minute. Stop right there, I said. You have four kids in college? I've got a feeling there are children in your neighborhood that don't go to high school. You have four kids in college and told this class you don't have anything to talk about? We've got to hear how you did that. Everyone in class responded the way I did. This story is not unique. It happens all the time with clients I coach. One of the ways to find out what to talk about is to work with at least one other person. When coaching clients, I listen and ask questions so they hear themselves. Ask questions like, what did you learn from that? What happened next? What will you do differently the next time that happened? So what? Why would anyone want to hear that story? From now on, no more nothing to talk about excuses for not giving a presentation. Next video, I'll start giving some nuggets to lessen the fear of public speaking. Till then, make your next presentation <laughs> no sweat.